Hello there everybody, Dave McCauley here, and we're back with more of the Stanley Parable for the PC. Um, so, I, I guess we're calling him Stanley, or the guy, um, or maybe the Dave Parable. He was just talking to us, I went and took a pee, and all of a sudden I put my headphones on and he was talking to us, so, I, I don't know. I'm... What? Okay, so we're just gonna try and do whatever. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ew. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? What? When Stanley came to a set of two open oh. doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so... We're gonna go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, oh, absolutely and Stanley not. knew it perfectly well. Yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge. Hmm. Admire the employee lounge. Can we... Is this it? Ah, yes. Oh, this is Truly it. Truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the detour after all. Yeah. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate... Oh, look, an amoeba! Room. And by Stanley amoeba, I mean plant. Here, drinking it all Leaf. In. Hmm. A cold, cold drip. A dollar twenty-five? Yes. Really? Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking <laughs> at these chairs and some paintings. Yeah, I agree. Really worth it. I agree. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. On my left. That's my left. Hmm. Hmm. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> yeah, he can't follow simple orders. Dave cannot do this. Oh, this is... Dude, this is what we saw in the demo. The specifically made demo for the game. That was awesome. Really? This is it. This is one of them. The, the part. One of the parts. See, if I jump down, what will happen? I really don't want that to happen. I just kind of... What? Here, okay. What? Do not jump from cargo lift uh, while in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for mis misuse. Cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, $5,000. Really? Really? Game? Really? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Really? I'm not your enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? Who is her? Her? This is it, Stanley. What? Your chance to redeem yourself. Stop calling me Stanley. I'm Dave. Aside, to let her back into your Who life. Who is her? She's been waiting. What the fuck? Oh, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What the? Oh, ball sack. Come on. No. No. No! Yes! Let's go. What the fuck? That's her, Stanley. What? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Shit. No, I can't put myself to answering the phone. Nope. I'm going to sit in the corner and cry myself to sleep. Nope. Can't make me. Nope. Here we go. 
I'm sorry, but I'm just not going to answer this phone. Ah, <sighs> you can suck my ear. Sounds a little creepy, but... You can suck it. Game. I'm not even touching the keyboard. I'm not touching the keyboard. I'm not touching the mouse. No. Is it going to make me do it? Is it going to force me to do this? I think it is. At the end of the day, I think it's like 50 seconds and then you have to actually... God dang it! What? What? 427? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, it's I not. No, no, fuck, fuck. Other. Run, run, oh, bitch, yay. run. Run, okay, run. I'm trying to run. Right, now, I am I trying to get GTFO. I am trying yeah. to get the fuck. What the <laughs> ball sack? Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to what? commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Can I leave? Oh, I can. Sorry, what? but you're in my story now. Oh, that is so evil. You were so tricky, you trickster. Oh, you evil son of a beanstalk. This is a very what? sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Excuse me? Let me out. Good morning, employee 427. Press 1 on your keyboard. Nope. Nope. Nope, you're trying to tell me what to do. I'm not doing it. You can suck it. You can suck this bald-headed mannequin. That's what you can do. You know what? Just lick the skull of it. Lick the scalp, and you'll be satisfied. I am not going to press 1. I'm not going to press 1. I am going to press 1. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly Son of what a he's told beanstalk. To do. Ah. Now he's pushing a button. I'm such now a sheep. He's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm still a sheep. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Or it might have. Watch TV, really? And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that the one hell's day my TV? Work, Where's he my stepped TV? up from his desk to realize that no. all of his co-workers, no. his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, please press L to spend time with your boys. With the boys? Really? So, he went for What further. boys? He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what, what the lay hell? behind each door. Really? The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner. Yes. As he wandered through this fantasy what? world, he began to fill it with many possible paths Excuse and destinations. Me? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Is this a game within a game? Is that what we were talking about there? Something following a line. There it is, a line. Playing with a baby. I, I don't really know, but uh, please press E to tell your kids a story. 
It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh. Press F to tell your wife you love her. Aww. But there is no answer. What? How could there possibly be? What In the reality, fuck? All he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Uh, Nothing that's has true, changed. I guess. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Uh, again, that's true. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. I am killing stop. myself. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Boom. Nope. See, no matter what, this game is going to make me do it. Please press M to be at work in the morning. Nope. You're, you're just going to make me do it. That's the thing. Excuse me, um... <laughs> the sound effects! The dem sound effects! God dang it! What? What? Oh, come on, it's been 50 seconds. Oh, suck my ball sack. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled what? to. I no. must. No! Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. No! Maybe this time... No, I'm okay! And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... What the fuck? Wait. Excuse me? Really? Really? That was the ending of that scenario. Really? Alright. So depending on how you felt about it, like or dislike, if you felt it was one of your favorite episodes that I've ever done, hit that favorite button. If you haven't already seen, or if you haven't already done so and you like what I do, please subscribe. With that said, be sure to check out the description. My Twitter, my Facebook, be sure to like, uh, follow, all that good stuff, if you want to. With that said, again, I'm Dean McCauley. I'll see you guys next time.